Lesson 9.4b, finding surface area of a prism. This is going to be for a rectangular prism. If we're given a prism's dimensions, we can use a formula to find the surface area. So the surface area S of a prism with a base perimeter P, height H, and the base area B would be S is equal to P times H plus 2 times B. Before we begin, I'm going to post this one more time, so if you didn't have a chance to screenshot it before, you can now. So here we have a rectangular prism. It's a right rectangular prism. Any pair of opposite faces can be the bases. We can say this is a base and this side is a base, so it would be like this. Here's its net. We could say that this top and what's the bottom are the base, so it would be like this. We could even say this side and the back side are bases. Any pair of opposite bases, see how they're opposite of each other? They can be the bases. We can write L for length, W for width, and H for height on the figure next to the dimensions to discern them from each other. That way we won't be confused when using the formula. Dave built a wood container to store his gardening tools. The toolbox is the shape of rectangular prism. He plans to spray paint the exterior of the box. How many square feet will he need to paint? So we make a quick sketch of the box to help us understand the problem. We identify its base, so that's going to be down here, what it's sitting on, and find the base perimeter. Any opposite faces can be the perimeter. But I've chose to use this bottom, so it's going to be length times width for the area of the base, so that would be 4 times 2. That would be 8 square feet, because these are in feet. The perimeter of the base would be 4, and then in the back there would be 4, so that's 2 times the length, that's 2 times 4, and we would have this 2 feet, and on this side there would be 2 feet, so that would be 2 times the width, that would be 2 times 2. And 2 times 4 is 8, plus 2 times 2 is 4. We'd get 12 feet for the perimeter of the base. So now we know the base area is 8 square feet. We know the perimeter of the base is 12 feet. Now we identify the height. We see it's 3 feet. And find the surface area. The height h of the prism is 3 feet. We use the formula to find the total surface area. We used this formula and learned it in the last video. We have surface area S is equal to the base perimeter P multiplied by the height H plus 2 times the base area. That would be 2 times B. Our base perimeter is 12. The height is 3. And 2 times the base area would be 2 times 8. We would get 12 times 3 is 36 plus 2 times 8 is 16, and 36 plus 16 is equal to 52. We know the surface area of Dave's garden toolbox is 52 feet squared. That's the area, the surface area, that needs to be painted. We found that Dave needs to paint 52 feet square to cover the surface area of his garden toolbox. If a 12 ounce can of spray paint can cover approximately 20 square feet, how many cans will he need to buy to cover the surface area with two coats of paint? So one coat of paint might be a little thin. It, you know, the box may show through, so he wants to do two coats of paint. So two coats of surface area is equal to 2S, two times the surface area, we know the surface area is 52, so we have 2 times 52. That's equal to 104 feet squared. Well, if each can is 20, we can divide the 104 by 20, and we're going to get 5 and 1 fifth cans of paint. So he shouldn't buy 5 cans because there'll still be a little bit that didn't get a second coat. We should round up to the next amount of cans Dave should buy six cans of paint 
to have enough. A half pound of butter comes in a box that is a rectangular prism with a length of 12 centimeters, width of 6 centimeters, and a height of 3 centimeters. What is the surface area of the box? So we're going to find our base B, and it might help to draw a quick picture of this box. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's just a quick drawing to help us. For our base B, we can see we need to do 6 times 12. Well, that would be 72 centimeters squared for the area of that base. The perimeter of the base would be 2 times 6, this 6 and the 6 that's on this side, and 2 times 12, the 12 in the front and the 12 that would be in the back. We would do 12 plus 24 and get 36 centimeters for the perimeter of the base. Our height is 3 centimeters. Now we can use the formula. The surface area is equal to the perimeter of the base times the height plus 2 times the base area. Well, the perimeter of the base was 36 times the height of 3. That's going to give us 108. And 2 times the base area would be 2 times 72. That would be 144. We add them together and find the surface area is 252 centimeters square. The surface area for the half pound butter box is 252 square centimeters. Here we have one last one. What is the surface area of this rectangular prism? We've got a length of 8 inches, a width of 4 inches, and a height of 6 inches. We find the area of the base, so we can say this is the base down here. It's going to be 8 times 4, that's 32 inches square. The perimeter of the base is going to be 2 times 8, this 8 and the 8 in the back, and 2 times 4, this 4 and the 4 on the left. We have 24 inches for the perimeter of the base. The height is 6 inches. We plug these into our formula that the surface area is equal to the perimeter of the base times the height plus 2 times the base area. We have 32 times 6, which is 192, plus 2 times 32, that's 64. We add them together and get 256 inches square. And the surface area is 256 square inches. We finished the second part of the lesson. We're moving on to the last part, finding the surface area of a composite solid. That's a 3D composite figure. So just keep in mind, anytime you're doing math, do a quick drawing on the side on some scratch paper. It could really help you solve a problem. I hope you're doing well, and I hope the rest of your day is wonderful. And I hope you join me for the last part of the lesson. Bye.